Hello, good morning everyone. Still on how to convert numbers from base 10 to other bases. In this tutorial, we are going to convert another number which is in base 10 to base 5 and base 2 respectively. So what we have here is 2568 and you can see it does not contain any assigned base which means that it is in base 10. To start with base 5, we are going to perform a successive division of this number with 5 and of 10 the remainders uh, in their descendant order. So this is 2, 5, 6, 8. We are going to divide through by 5. For convenience, we can use calculator. So this is my calculator. I will divide the whole of these numbers by 5 and obtain the remainder. So we have 2, 5, 6, 8, divide by 5. And what I have here is 5, 1, 3. Do not include the decimal number. So this 5, 1, 3, you should multiply it with 5. 5, 1, 3 times 5. What I have here is 2,565, but this one is 68. This means that we have a remainder of three. We continue. We divide this number by five again. Five thirteen divided by five. What I have here is 102. To obtain the remainder, we say 102 times 5. 102 times 5. We have 510. But this is 513. This means that we also have a remainder of 3. We again divide 102 by 5. 102 divided by 5. What we have is 20. But if you times 20 by 5, you shall get 100. But this is 102. This means that we have a remainder of 2. 5 again, it can go into 24 times without remainder. Without remainder. But 5 can no longer go into 4. So we stop. We are going to take these numbers in this form upward and conclude by saying 2,568, which is a number in base 10. This is the same thing as you start with this number, 4, 0, 2, 3, and finally 3. But this number is in base 5. So they are exactly the same, just that they are in different bases. So now let us see how we can convert it to base 2. So dividing numbers by 2 is the most simplest division, so we can even do it without calculator. 2 can go into 2, 1. 2 can go into 5, 2 times, but we have a remainder of 1. Take that 1 to the next number, it becomes 16. 2 can go into 16 8 times. 2 can go into 8 4 times, so we do not have any remainder. We move again, 2. 2 cannot go into 1, therefore we join them together to become 12. 2 can go into 12 6 times. 2 can go into 8 4 times. 2 can go into 4 2 times, no remainder. 2 again, can go here 3 times. 2 can go into 4 2 times. 2 can go into 2 1 time without remainder. 2 here. 2 can go into 3 one time, but we have 1 left. Take that 1 to the next number, it becomes 12. 2 into 12, 6. 2 cannot go into 1, so we write 0, uh, but we have 1 left. Because if you times 160 by 2, you shall get 320, so we have 1 left. Again, 2. 2 cannot go into 1, you join them together. 2 can go into 16, 8 times. 2 into 0 is 0. We do not have a remainder. 2 here, 
we have 2 into 8 is 4. Here we have 0. No remainder. We keep on going. 2 here, uh, we have 20. No remainder. 2 here, we have uh, 10. No remainder. 2 here, we have 5. No remainder. 2 here, we have 2. Uh, but we have a remainder of 1. 2 into 2 is 1. No remainder. And uh, finally, 2 cannot go into 1. Therefore, we stop. And take these numbers in this form. So where are we going to write them? Uh, let me write them here. Um, 2, 5, 6, 8 is a number in this 10. It will be equal to, we start with this number here, which is 1. They will move to the right. We have 0. We have 1. Then we have zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have 1. Then we have three other zeros. But this number is in base 2. Remember, I told you the highest digit in any number base is one less than the base. This is why we do not have two here. We do not have 10 here. So in our next class, we shall see how to convert numbers in base 10 that are in decimal form to other bases. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.